Ever have one of those aha moments, one of those, oh, I never saw that before kind of experiences when reading? Well, I had that kind of experience in, in reading uh, for today. Our, our reading is in Zechariah 13 and 14, Psalm 147 and Luke 15. And it was in Luke 15 that I, I saw something that I'd never seen before. And I, I call this devotion today uh, Eternal Perspective. Hi, Wayne Hathaway here with you with some good seeds again to, this morning. Uh, our verse verses that I want to read this morning are from Luke chapter 15, verses 11 and 12. Then he said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me. So he divided to them his livelihood. Now, there are a couple of things that just stood out there that jumped off the page. That I, it's one of those things, you know, I've read this a, dozens of times, and I just had never seen this before. Uh, he divided the livelihood to them, but it was whose livelihood? His livelihood to them. It wasn't just the younger son that received his, inher his inheritance at that time. It was the older son in this parable as well. So it wasn't like the older son got shortchanged in the bargain. He got what he deserved also. So the question then that hit me is why the big uproar when the prodigal son came home? It wasn't like the older son got shortchanged, lost out in the whole deal. And so here again, it's important that we observe the context of the parable of the prodigal son. The context deals not only with the prodigal, but with uh, the lost sheep and the lost coin. These, uh, these three parables are all given at the same time. And all three of these parables speak to the joy of the father when the son comes home. Uh, but also the joy when the shepherd and the woman, uh, and additionally of the joy of heaven, when someone comes home. So all three of these parables deal with some rejoicing that takes place over that which was lost being found. And, and this is really this is really a big deal. It's the joy that can come only when someone who is bound for hell turns from the, uh, the, the coming destruction and finds eternal life. The joy over the sheep and the, and the coin, wonderful, but the joy over the son who was lost is just incomparable. It gives the perspective of one who doesn't see life from an eternal perspective. He's caught up with the immediate, with the earthly concerns, and not with the heavenly. And that's the case with the older son. He didn't have an eternal perspective. Speaks to me, speaks to us today, that it's so, so important to keep things in eternal perspective. What comparison is there between sheep and coins and a soul saved? Well, it's great to find a lost coin. It's great to find a sheep that had gone astray. But for a son, for a child who is lost, headed for hell, to come home, what an incredible blessing that is. What a wonderful joy. Heaven rejoices over that. Uh, it's, it's, it's awesome to think about the day that I came to the Lord and the rejoicing that took place because I got found. The Lord found me. Isn't that the case with you today? Rejoicing because of your coming home. So what should we do? We need to keep our eyes fixed upon heaven. I know I say this a lot. I talk about this a lot, but it's so true. In the times that we are living in, we have to have an eternal perspective, thinking about things that are eternal. This stuff around us is all going to pass away. It's going to go up in smoke shortly. But that which is in us, that which God has birthed in you and me and our hearts and lives of, of, of things that are eternal, that's going on forever. We have to keep our eyes fixed on those things today. I pray the Lord will help you to do that today. Are there difficulties? Sure. Uh, will there be hard times ahead? Yeah, more than likely. But it doesn't change what God has promised. And that's what we hold on to today. So may the Lord richly bless you as you hold on to those things that are eternal. Amen.